Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Africa campaign featuring the modern day mod. In the last episode, we decided to change our next target uh, for conquest from Nigeria to Burkina Faso. So, we're going to be taking them down, primarily because they have some factories that I want. Military factories and civilian factories. And they have a relatively small military that I think we can probably beat uh, right now. Um, as far as factories goes, um, I got a comment on the last episode that I should be building some more civilian factories. And we are going to be building more civilian factories. But right now, what I really, really want to do is get enough military factories to get all of my lines running for all the equipment that we need at least to some degree, right? Um, so we can get our troops outfitted. Then we'll go after some more civilian factories. The big prize for that is gonna be Nigeria. Nigeria has a ton of civilian factories. So that will be a big boost once we're able to get them. Um, and also, we've been doing some research and everything else. Um, I think we also designed a new uh, paratrooper battalion. So I was trying to go after transport planes. If I remember correctly. Weren't I? Oh yeah, because we need bomber design to get the, the transport planes. Because then, once we have transport planes, we can actually start doing some paradrops. Should be very useful. Um, it also comes to mind that I should probably make. Let's let's duplicate this. Do we actually have Marines? We have Marine light infantry. So we probably make a marine division. Again, engineers, some artillery support, some light recon. And I don't think we're going to give them tanks. That should be sufficient. So yeah, let, let's actually get some marines. And let's, let's get them in training too. Might as well. Because if we're going to want to start doing some naval invasions, now that we actually have some ships, um, we can do that. So, go ahead and pause to get things moving. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I forgot. Um, we are going to need to move our planes to prepare for this. So, let's move them over here. There we go. And I believe this was going to be in March, right? No, May. May, okay. That's fine. We're still kind of far behind on small arms. Well, that's primarily because... Um, we just added a bunch of guys we need to train. And equip as well. So... What I could do is say, you know what, prioritize everything to reinforcements. To make sure that our guys in the field actually have their stuff first. Before we put any new guys in the field. Let's see, yeah, we need... Get all this stuff, and we're not making any of it yet, so. See, it's going to take us almost a thousand days to get all those fighters built. Well, I mean, we are making only two a month. My big concern right now 
is that they have around 40 divisions. We only have about 20, so we have about half the number, but I don't know what their composition are. Because they could have 40 divisions and still have just about the same number of actual troops in the field we do, because our divisions are just bigger. Um, but it's looking like they actually have uh, tanks. Possibly American tanks. And right now, our tanks are pretty outdated. And again, it's how many of them do they actually have? I don't know. Because I can see their number of divisions, but I can't see their total fielded manpower. Oh, here again. Estimated manpower. Now, is that for this or actually in the field? I don't think that's in the that's in the field. I think that's just available manpower. Yeah, we won't know how much field of manpower they have until we actually declare war on them. So I remember when we were fighting Guinea, and they had about the same number of our troops, but less than a half of our field of manpower. Uh, that reminds me, what are we looking at? Combat with the 17. Uh, the Russian election. Vladimir Putin was re-elected, because of course he was. I could add some more light infantry to bring this up to 20 combat width. See, because they have mechanized recon, engineers, um, self propelled artillery battery. I don't think we really need self propelled. We could put some more actual infantry out here. Um, but actually, we won't do that till we have a nice surplus of equipment. We'll hold off on that. Alright, a couple more months, and then we're gonna go to war again. So they're thinking they were only just barely stronger than them. It's probably due to our shortages of equipment. Man, we got a pretty, uh, pretty wide assortment of small arms. AKMs from Russia, AK forty, uh, AK seventy fours from Russia. Some of our own small arms. We have some Belgian weapons. That's uh, Sweden, I think. France, Czechoslovakia, Panama, Canada. All right, so. Got a capital ship effort. Go for that destroyer effort. How are things going here as far as our influencing? Alright, we're up to 25%. We've got our merging outlook down to 36. And it's still still boosting yeah their election was gonna be in 2027 three years I don't know if I want to wait that long Let's 
see. What do you guys have? You guys have two military factories and four civilians. And two divisions. I guess we could take Niger. You give me just some more room to work. So you go around this way. I try to get to the Congo. Yes, yeah, so we're trying to avoid any more uh, African nations joining faction with the Russians. So when is that third ship going to be done? 22nd of September. Alright, looks like we aren't going to be getting any new technology anytime soon. Sarawi in election? Ibrahim Galid's re-elected. Enforcement requests looking. So, do they have all of their? I guess they have. Yeah, all of their their main their infantry weapons. They just need everything else. Small arms. That's the word I was looking for. So this uh, negative that we have right now is due to our training. We need more for our light infantry and our new marines. Yeah, because they need a thousand small arms themselves. South African election, Jacob Zuma re-elected. All right. All right, we're coming up on it. Tomorrow, in fact. There it is. Declare war, send, and go. Indian election, Narendra Modi re-elected. Alright, yeah, looks like we're making some pretty good progress. Pour through those airborne units. Just what are you doing? Someone move into the city, please. Malawi in election, Peter Mutharika elected. Alright, let's pin those guys down.
Okay, there is something goofy going on here with the line. No, you stand... Alright, what I'm going to tell you to do is uh, remove yourself from the battle plan and just stay in the city. Why did this line split? This is this is the weirdest thing in the world. Okay. Um, okay, there's some kind of goofiness in the map right here. Alright, I'm gonna have to do it as two separate. So this is a bug. Definitely a bug. Tell these guys to manually attack. should probably attack as well. And actually, we're going to cut... Oh, not quite. Alright, destroyer effort is done. Let's get that nav effort. Naval bombers. Or maritime patrol aircraft, as they are typically called. Alright, can I now reconstitute these as a single line? Don't know. I'll try it after we take this right here. Alright. Let's properly reconstitute that as a single line. You swap over there. There we go. The Philippines have joined the Shanghai Pact. Someone suggested I join the Chinese faction as a way to offset Russia. Because then if I end up going to war with Russia, then Russia will end up at war with China. Hmm. They will not accept. Not even close. They have strategic reasons to be hostile to me for some reason. Other potential 
pack we could join would be... Peninsula Shield. Different outlook. And a different outlook, minus 60. We would need to find... Well, we might need to make our own faction. I don't know who else out there has nationalist outlook. We might be able to work with. All right, there we go, war over. Take all states and turn done. All right. Let's get our guys back on the Nigerian border. Mauritanian election, Mohammed Uld Abdel Aziz was reelected. All right. All right, so. We should now be making almost everything. We just need two more military factories, which we are in the process of actually building. One of these is going to be done in October. And we'll see when the other one's actually finished. And then what we might do... Hmm... Cuban civilian factories. Like that. This is a level 6 naval base. That's actually not bad. What are we at as far as... Oh, we got a ton of small arms. Nice. Must have captured them. Very good. We just need some anti-tank guided missiles. And some recon tanks. We are actually making those now. So... Is going to ramp up the production efficiency, and uh, we're good. Man pads, mounted anti tank guided missiles. Uh, what are we short on? We're short on some petroleum. For what? The recon tanks and the ATGMs. Um, and our convoys. I guess we could use another one of our civilian factories, one of the ones we just got, to buy some more oil. Now, Algeria is not fulfilling any of... Okay. We need eight petroleum. Iran has six left for export. All right, I guess we'll buy it from Iran and Saudi Arabia.
Yep, looks like we're definitely going to have to take out Nigeria to get their oil. Alright, so let's go ahead and move our aircraft back. Put them back over here. Rwandan election, Paul. Is that Kagame? Reelected? Turkish election. Recep. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's name. Erdogan. Uh, Erdogan? Erdogan, right. That's how you pronounce his name. I was reelected. Let's see. The doctrine effort we're not going to worry about. We're done all of this. We don't have any new um, industry to work on. We don't have any new uh, research slots to unlock. I mean, I could take some construction engineering, but I think I'm just going to not run any focuses for now and use the political power. So we could really use the political power to reduce the corruption and do some other changes here. What is this large civil service? Let's see, what are our options? Political power gain plus 0.4, military construction speed plus 10%, centralized bureaucracy. Extensive centralization. You know what? We can do that. It does increase the tax cost a little bit. Or, duh, um, yeah. But I'm not worried about that too much. Twenty sixth of October. All right, so now we know they have forty divisions. They have twelve ships. They have thirty two aircraft. We actually have more aircraft than they do right now. We have a larger air force. I don't know what kind of aircraft they have. Whether or not they have better aircraft than we do. I mean, I could do a purchase. Ah, uh, Russian. Let's see. For Russian aircraft? Air superiority fighters, what will we get? Three. We get three SU-27 flankers. Three of them. Well, that isn't worth 150 political power at all. Uh, anybody else have any... Air superiority fighters, they'd be willing to sell me. Three F 15s. Yeah, it's only three planes, it's not worth it. Ah, we got our third ship. B-52. 
they have 12. All right, so we've almost filled all of our, all right, there goes the utility vehicles. We got all the utility vehicles we need in the field. We need eight more recon tanks. Ah, the first of our new paratroopers. All right, let's create a new army for that. Uh, let's make them, I like to make them a reddish color for special forces. And I want to give them a general. All right, I guess we'll go all the way to 180% of GDP. Hundred and eighty percent will be tax cost minus nine, construction please plus nine percent. And that's where it stops. Okay, so that's not a fully implemented thing yet. Alright, what do we what will we want out here? Tricksters, additional reconnaissance. Jungle Rat, Movement, Attack and Defense in Jungle, which... This is all just forest. This, and there's some jungle out here. Um, Logistics Wizard, con Supply Consumption minus 20%. That actually may be good. We'll go with him. And let's add you to that army group. Because these guys could potentially be operating behind enemy lines and having lower supply consumption would be a good thing. Alright, so I think we are going to have to wait till the military builds up a bit. Recon tanks, ATGMs. Okay, so I'm gonna put these guys back on medium priority. Because they have most everything they need except for the main battle tanks. Which we're in the process of taking care of that. Slowly. Alright, but we are at the end of the episode here, so I think we're gonna go ahead and stop for now. Oh, except that we just got our first new Marine Division. Just a second. Let's add them in. Give you a commander. Defensive doctrine. Engineer. River and fort attacks. Trickster additional reconnaissance. Jungle rat. Um... River and Fort. Let's just give him... Let's go with this guy. With the, with the trickster trait. And add them into the battle of the uh, army group. Alright. Mozambican election. Felipe Nusi re-elected. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and stop here. Okay, so we're going to continue our military buildup and preparation for war with Nigeria, or some form of Nigeria. 
to 30%, 28%, 33%. Getting there. Getting there. Two point five daily political power. So we'll reach fifteen hundred total. Yikes. Alright. Alright, well we'll see what we can do there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.